On this episode of American Travel Family, Matt is taking off on a bucket list adventure as he goes flying with one of his good buddies, who happens to be a world-renowned air show pilot. Hey everyone, we are at the airport and as you can see, there's no commercial airliners around. We are in a private hangar and my buddy's inside there with his private plane and I've got a special opportunity today, so let's go check it out. <laughs> How you doing, everyone? This is a good buddy of mine, Ed Hamill, and uh, we've known each other for probably, I'd say, at least 20 years. Least so 20 over 20 years. years. Um, Ed is an ultimate aviator, if you can say that. He's a retired fighter pilot. We flew F-16s together for at least over 10 years in the Air Force Reserves, and I actually wore our fighter squadron shirt today. Um, he's also a commercial airline pilot and an air show pilot, and this is his pit special, correct? Yep. Air show Pits. plane. Yep. And to do any one of those by themselves is amazing, and he does all three, which is completely unreal. But we are here today because Ed invited me to go flying with him. We've flown together in the Air Force, but never have I had the opportunity to fly in an air show plane or pit special. So. I thank you for that, <laughs> and I honestly haven't gone upside down in an airplane since I retired in 2018, so I'm pretty stoked wow. to All go right. out there, <laughs> and cool. Ed's going to show me some of the maneuvers he does in his air shows, and we're going to go upside down and, and have some fun, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm super excited about it. Um, Ed has done air shows for how many years? Since uh, 2000. Since 2000, so he is a very experienced and pretty much an air show celebrity. Um, has been doing air shows for a yes, long you time. Are. <laughs> he, 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 he's very humble, but uh, definitely check out his website. It's edhamill.com, and definitely check out his YouTube. He's kind of restarting his YouTube channel. It's Ed Hamill on YouTube, and his series that he's doing is Back to Show Center. So he took a little break from the air show uh, circuit for a few years, recently acquired, bought his airplane back, and now he's getting ready for his upcoming air shows in the future. So he's down here a lot. We also golf together um, a lot. quite a bit. <laughs> uh, we're golfing a couple of days. We golf at least once or twice uh, a week together. So we've been friends for quite a while. And when he's not at the range or golfing, uh, lately he's been here working on his airplane and practicing for his upcoming air shows. So uh, we're going to get a quick overview and a safety brief. And uh, we're going to jump in, he's going to strap me in and uh, take me for a little flight. Before we take off, let's learn a little bit about Ed's airplane, the Pitts Special. Put all the control surfaces and the wings, fabric covered. So all it takes is something oh. sharp and to gouge it and I'm done. I, I can't fly until I get that repaired. So we got to be really careful around the airplane uh, touching it. The reason why this is the old age design of the Barnstormers of the 20s and 30s, mm -hmm. they did this for weight purposes. Because if you put oh, a heavy, you know, a heavy metal, let's say you want to put metal, it, it works in a jet because you have so much power with the jet engines, but here you want to keep your weight down as much as you can. So that's the original airplanes, they covered it with fabric, which is really cool. That and is wires, crazy. Um, because of Folds of Honor, and I'm like, what, I've always thought, if you, if, I could, if you have a good story and you make it a human interest aspect of your show, then it's way more powerful than just Hey, look how cool I am! I'm doing yeah. a loop and a, a snap roll, and yeah. because when you go to a show after about the third or fourth performer, and uh -huh. I don't mean this, you know, in any disrespect, but even as a performer, all the maneuvers start kind of looking the same. The same, yeah. And you got so for me, it's always a story. So what's really cool is the maneuvers. I don't just do a loop; I do a barnstormer loop. But in this mm. case, I do a maneuver called uh, torque roll, and so now I'm going to call it Trojan's Trojan's torque roll. I do a knife edge pass, and then I, I do a push negative turn, and I come back around here. And it, so I'm going to call that Klepto's Corner. Right. And then um, I'm still working on Bruiser's uh, maneuver, but it sounds good to say Bruiser's barrel roll. But yeah. I, I have David's tumble. We call it. now it's Angie's Arresto Momentum. Oh, that's which is cool. The <laughs> so, so like all your maneuvers are dedicated to your kids or, yeah. Yeah. or you know, Klepto, Trojan, and Bruiser are actually F-16 uh, pilots that, that, uh, that we all knew. Right. Bros that we knew that sacrificed their life in uh, 
you know, in duty and are no longer here with us, but he's uh, remembering them through his show and giving them the honor and respect with his maneuvers that are named after him. So that's pretty cool. And yeah. it's just part of the story that you tell, right? Yeah. That's awesome. So that's it. It's a story. <laughs> then we got the aerial, the seatbelt jack, roll inverted. Okay, back up. And you'll see that you're going to have two seatbelts in the front seat, a black one that we're going to put a five point, and then there's going to be a red one that is on top of that. And it only tightens from one side. Okay. So if we ever have to get out of the airplane, we'll talk about getting out of the airplane. <laughs> the magic, magic words are the same as we use okay. our whole life, right? Yeah. So when you actually hear bailout, 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 bailout. You're, bailout. Going to be the, you're going to be the first one to, to go. When you hear bailout, 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 that means I'm going to get the canopy going. Cause I don't want to get the canopy first and then say bailout because you may not hear me. Right. So bailout, bailout, bailout. The first thing you're going to see is I'm going to get the canopy off and it's going to fly off. And then what I'm going to do is, is uh, you know, pitch the airplane up and then as you're unstrapped and getting ready to stand up out of the cockpit and just go straight out, then I'm going to push forward and stand a little bit. And you're just going to fly out of there. And then, and then I go. Um, the parachute itself, um, I inspect them every day. I've already looked at them. Have you ever, ever had it bell out? No. Oh, no, okay. No. I'm like, so, oh, wait. No, but, but we got to talk about yeah, it. So talk. this is your typical like standard safety brief that you talk about anytime you go flying, like in the military or, you know, I guess even um, commercial aviation or you talk about the contingencies. Never happens, but you got to talk about it. So, so if it happens, we you know what to about do. You and we're on the same page, same yeah. game plan. Gotcha. Yeah. I will. All right. After all that chatting, let's get strapped in and get this pits off the ground and see what she can do. Let's have some fun and see what these air show aerobatics are all about. Good to see you. Take care. Okay. okay, guys. Come back. Back up. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. This part. I just gotta listen on the radio. You get to listen. So, what is that radio for? Tell Tower that they're leaving. Oh. Gives them the call sign is eight nine Papa Sierra. <laughs> and eight nine Papa. Oh, it's so cool. They're like eight nine. Clear. Space to do our maneuvers was only about a five minute flight away and Ed let me have some stick time to get a feel for the pits on the way out. Now it's time for a seatbelt check and get this show started. He did a loop. 
Um, and it's typical, just, you know, you don't want to over control yeah. it and, and you don't want to, but it's positive seven minus five are the limits of the airplane. Okay, I was going to ask. That. And we probably did four and a half G's yeah. on the pulley. Yeah. And We did do a two-turn spin, so you saw yeah, how, you know, cool. vanilla, it's a standard, spins yeah. like every other airplane. But Basically what I'm doing is, if this is the airplane, I am swinging the tail outside the nose okay, of the airplane. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this big tail here is swinging outside the nose. And you can kind of see that with some of the angles. Everything always starts and ends level flight. So every maneuver you ever do in this airplane, you start level flight, you go to the maneuver, and you end level flight. Then you have a beginning and an ending parameter. dog is just something I do on one end as I'm turning around and one end coming back to uh, show center. After all that fun, Ed let me have the controls again so I could fly us back home. Uh, 
time. So yeah. when he's landing, he slips the plane. So he's almost, you're looking out the side at the runway, and then he was telling me at the so end. So I came in for landing, he probably uh -huh. looked and goes, oh, he's showing off. He's, you know, mm -hmm. flying sideways. No, I'm not showing off. I'm actually looking. I'm flying sideways so I can see the, run, the, the run. front. So I've got right rudder and left aileron. So I'm actually going this way, even though I'm banked. Okay. Go straight. And then when I get about over the numbers or a little bit sooner, about two wingspans above, then I go, okay, now I'm gonna level the airplane to land. And as soon as I do that, I have this attitude. Mm -hmm. I can't see down the runway. Right. I'm using my peripheral. Yeah, look at the wind socks cranked over a little more now. Oh, you can see this Oh, look at they already have the top popped. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, look at that. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look at they just pulled it in backwards. Woohoo! Nice. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was awesome. cool. <laughs> Fast and furious. That was Fast wow. and furious. So, yeah. yeah. We did a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it was quick. Mm -hmm. So when you talk to someone, like yeah. that, but, uh, all right. You know, there's a couple. I'm like, let me show you this, and you're like, I have no idea what we just did. That, that first one, he swapped tail over nose over yeah, the centrifuge. Yeah, yeah. That that was pretty exciting. Right. Okay. Because so so never just, have I been in an airplane that could ever do something like that. Do something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're right. behind you. I'm going to push it back Okay. How many pounds is it? It's about 1,260 pounds. That's crazy. It looks like it's about five pounds when you... I've gained about 20 pounds. When you pushed it out, it looked like it weighed about maybe five yeah. pounds. <laughs> he knew what he had to do. There you go. Fight like you train, train like you fight. Yep. Thanks a lot. That was, that was so awesome. I haven't had that much fun since I retired from the F-16. I mean, think about it. We did all that in about... It was quick, right? Yeah, it was I mean, pretty quick. Yeah, like, Why'd you go and, sideways? Like, so that's uh, a good question. Huh, yeah. Taxi? Yeah. Well, stand back here. Stand back here and sit in this chair and then tell me what you see right out the front of the airplane. Oh, the propeller? Not, not or like nothing? nothing? See, yeah, okay. I guess. Oh, stay right there. Stay right like, there. I see. And then you're taxiing along the taxiway. Right. And, I, and there's somebody or something in the taxiway, and I'm right here. Uh, no. Okay. So, you, you have to. Because you can't see out the front of the nose. Oh, so okay. Like that well, I wasn't going to bug you, but I was but always I, hoping to get a flight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That <laughs> uh, was awesome. And the cool thing is just to catch a glimpse of what you do in the airplane is a completely whole nother level of yeah. flying, aviating, and truly a professional. All right, but it was a great day. Uh, Ed Hamill, check him out on YouTube at Ed Hamill and his website at edhamill.com. And if you like flying and like cool videos, definitely check him out. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Thank yeah. you. All right, that's a wrap on flying with Ed Hamill. And that was such an awesome day. That was a great adventure for me today. And uh, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more American Travel Family Adventures. And don't forget to go over to Ed's and like and subscribe to Ed Hamill. And make sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram at American Travel Family. And also check out our website at americantravelfamily.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family Adventures.